Hello, this is a layman's reaction to my favorite fruits of Indonesia, part six. Uh, now, he's growing a lot of places, and I'm sure you've probably seen these. This is a uh, tamarind. Um, in Indonesia, um, I was hoping I had one. Uh, it's state, uh, um, spell it A S A M. Um, it just comes in a lot of ways. Um, it comes in, you know, the pods. Uh, and you get it's sweet or sour. Um, it comes. Um, Now, I've been eating on this one, but this this is a, a, a paste. It's the it's the fruit just kind of pasted up <laughs> into a square. Uh, it's it's really good. Um, it's just. That's the sour one. <laughs> uh, you can get it as a juice. You can get it as a paste. You can get it uh, uh, all kinds of ways. It's used as an ingredient. Uh, and they put it in foods and drinks and... Uh, you know whatever you want to, to, to put it in this was a um, a paste basically these things are really easy if, if you get them um, if you get them in a, in a box like this they're they're, they're the shell probably is all whole well, for the most part uh, sometimes when you get them out of a, a bin uh, they may or may not be whole, uh, but the the, the uh, skin, this uh, cover breaks real easy, and uh, so you just cut that cover off or cut, you you know kind of break that cover off, um, and you're left with a uh, seed pod. Now the seed pod's got these strings that kind of hold it together. Um, and then all you got to do <laughs> is uh, um, bite off a piece. Now there are seeds in here. Okay, little brown seeds. This is a sour one too. <laughs> oh, these seeds are really easy to grow. Um, put it in a pot and add some water and wait for a while. It'll pop up. Uh, one of the things I, I like about these is the, you know, these leaves. They're kind of like fern leaves. Uh, in the daytime, they all open up. At nighttime, they all fold into each other. Um, if the leaves start to fall off, you need to add some water. And, and then they'll grow new leaves. Just don't wait too long. <laughs> uh, so they're really easy to grow, but you just got to kind of watch it to make sure that it doesn't dry out too much. Okay. So, one of the reasons I like these is because they're so easily transportable. Some of these uh, uh, fruits, you know, uh, you wait a little bit too long, they start to get weird and moldy and whatever. These things generally don't. They can stay in this form for, I don't know how long. Uh, long time 
So uh, they're good to, you know, bring with you or, or whatever it is to have something to munch on. Well, not munch, but something to eat uh, without worrying about whether it's going to get weird on you. So, um, and I like that you can get the sweet ones or the sour ones. Um, and uh, uh, I kind of like the, the sour ones. My son likes the sweet ones. Sour, sweet, yeah. Um, but anyways, they're good. I like them. And um, if you've never had one of these, uh, like I said, these are grown in a lot of places. So you've probably seen these in a store somewhere. Uh, even just regular stores that have these things. Um, usually in a bin. There's a little bin. They have a bunch of these in there. And you kind of pick them out and put them in a little baggie and pay for them by the pound. Um, some stores, like I said, have, have them in these boxes. Um, they're out there. Try it. It's great. Um, if you can, try both the sweet and the sour. Because they're, even though the basic flavor is kind of the same, they still taste different. Okay, if you've never had one, uh, try it. Let me know what you think. Um, uh, yeah, okay. Feel free to comment, subscribe, and hit that like button. And bring another bunch of these on your next car trip, because they'll last. <laughs>